So um, next question we want to cover is, you know, uh, the hardware. Uh, so what are the considerations you should have when you're buying um, Beacon hardware? You know, one of the things we've found uh, with our extensive testing and indeed some of our deployments is you can expect a battery life more in the range of two to three months. Mm -hmm. So currently most manufacturers are claiming you can get two to three years, which doesn't sound to be too much of a headache from a maintenance perspective. What we found is expect no more than two to three months. Indeed, we we had an embarrassing experience when we were when one of our partners was showcasing the power of beacons. Um, he'd been using the beacon for about one month in his showcase demonstrations, and it didn't work in front of a rather large uh, client. Why? The battery had gone. So do consider the battery life. It's a major consideration, particularly if you are looking to install a significant number of beacons, let's say a mall, let's say an airport, uh, let's say a stadium. To maintain battery-powered beacons, you have to consider that into your deployment. You have to think about how are you going to ensure that they do emit and continue to emit the signal that you want, such that you can give that great experience to your customers. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> these things as well, they're going to be hidden in hard to reach places. You don't want people tampering with them or, or, or fooling with them. And the problem is once the battery goes, they are invisible. Yeah, um, they're, they're, they're completely invisible. They're, they're uncontactable. They're unconfigurable. And, and they don't do much other than other than broadcast a, broadcast a signal. Um, uh, and for some of these locations as well, the second challenge that we've, we found is um, weatherproofing and, and durability. Um, so, so the circuits themselves are pretty small. They're pretty they're they're pretty robust, but they are sensitive to to water. They are sensitive to shock. They are sensitive to being um, uh, kicked and scuffed and 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 bashed and so on. Um, and there's a variety of of, of different types of casing um, on the market. Uh, some are very good um, and very versatile for um, adhering it everywhere. Estimotes, for example, are completely waterproof and can stick onto have a, have a, a sticker attached, so they're they're very easy to to, to mount. Blue cats have a um, a great um, uh, thing which can have cable or Velcro or stickers or magnetic. Um, it, it's all very good, um, all very good stuff. But when you come to retrieve those beacons, when you come to, to, to relocate them, to change the battery, um, then, then that's where it presents challenges. And, and some of the models, um, you actually have to destroy the casing in order to get to the battery. Um, yeah, make, we've done a few it, of those. <laughs> make, make, it, make it completely um, completely useless. And it's fine every two years if, 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 if that's what it takes to replace a, a, a beacon. But um, in reality, if you find yourself doing that every every um, several months, the the cost is going to add up um, quite quite quickly, and and it's more the manpower cost of having to having to manage all of that that's going to be a um, going to be a challenge. So think of consider um, the power source of the battery uh, of the of the beacon. Do you really need a battery powered one? Because uh, because you know we would recommend uh, every time to go for a permanently fixed. Uh, power option or a USB option, um, wherever that's um, wherever that's practical. Yep, and also another thing to consider when you're actually buying hardware is the actual configuring of the beacons and how do you want to manage if you're deploying five thousand, ten thousand beacons throughout yeah. a mall or a stadium, how are you actually going to ma manage it? That, that, I mean, that's a very good good point, Wendy. And not just the configuration, not just the setting up of the UUIDs and the major and minor. Um, but also future proofing for tomorrow. This this technology is still very young, but if you're deploying beacons in, in any significant number, it's still going to be a major investment at, at, at this time. So making sure that the firmware is up upgradable, um, for example, that if the specification changes, um, what you can do with these Bluetooth Bluetooth chips, uh, what these beacons are capable of doing, um, uh, the current Apple specification only scratches the surface. Um, so, so we see, uh, particularly for the long term, um, a huge opportunity in getting the right hardware with the right software installed on it. So you just deploy it once and um, it's there, it's an investment that's, that's gonna last you several years into the future.